Hi, Ebony fans. Andrew Anderson here in Sterling Heights, Michigan at Bowling IQ, my second home. This is my place of practice, work. This is where I am every time I'm home. Before I hit the road, I'm in here practicing all the time. This is where I am working, drilling balls for all, all my very loyal customers. And today, I have something very cool happening. Every night, send me a couple test balls. If you remember the verdict last year, Pro Shop operators got the opportunity to throw the verdict and give some feedback to Ebony International and let them know what ball they would choose and next thing you know the verdict came out. Verdict was a very, very good ball in my tournament bag when I'm traveling to PBA events, especially on the higher volume stuff. And we have today, if you come over here and look, uh, test ball A and test ball B. As you can see, we have identical layouts on both. It's very hard for me to test bowling balls if I don't really have a general sense of what they're gonna do. But this is a very unique setting because all I know about these two bowling balls is that they're asymmetrical. All, and they're different colors, obviously, blue and red. Uh, so we're gonna, we're gonna throw a few shots with each and then Evan and I want some feedback from me on what my choice would be. So let's start with test ball A here. I bowl in lane three a lot here. It's notorious for hooking a little more than the rest. Um, if you look at all my videos on social media, I tend to bowl in this lane. It makes me look a little better. I don't know if you can get much better of a start there, but uh, like I said, I have home field advantage here. I think, uh, think the lanes know who's bowling on them, I guess. That was, that was pretty close. So, first time throwing them, not really knowing much about them, just trying to get a good sense of them. All I really know about them is ASIM, so your, you guys' guess is as good as mine at this point. Dug in pretty good. I throw a lot of ASIM balls on tour, on the fresh, um, especially on some of the higher volume patterns we bowl on. Um, Always good to get another couple options in the bag. Uh, Verdict was one of them, still is one of them. Let's move a little left here off that six pin, see what happens. Oh, I got that right. Okay, well, we got, uh, we got some room for error there. It's always nice to see when you miss right and the ball picks up and still hits the one three. All right, got a few shots with that. Still the red one on top of that, see what happens. I'm a huge fan of this color. Not that I don't like the blue, but I'm a huge fan of this red. It's very cool looking. See what it looks like going down the lane. I like that. It's hard not to like that. It's really hard to make a choice. You have two, you have two good bowling balls. And you really don't know what's going on. They just want me to tell them which one I would choose and go from there. I throw a lot of, I throw a lot of asims in league as well. Go we'll league a couple times here and there when I am home. That's that's pretty good. I'm a big fan of that so far. It's really, it's so hard to make choices. Those, those couple were pretty good. You can see this ball getting in my bag pretty quick. All right, missed right. That was a very good shot. I'm gonna, throw this, I'm gonna throw this a couple more times here. What I really like to see out of bowling balls is when they meet, read, the, read the mid lane, I really wanna see them have some continuation through the pins and keep going. You really don't wanna see the ball bail very often. Always looking to get some of those 10 pins out. That's, that's pretty good. 
It's hard to get ace in balls when you're playing that far left to keep going through the pins, but that went through them pretty well. Let's throw the blue one there. See what, see what that does. My early uh, preference here is the red one. Goes through the pins a little better there from where we're playing. And I just like, I just like the way it looks going through the pins. Sometimes you just gotta, gotta have some confidence in the ball to throw it a little better. You know, if I didn't work here, I think that five pin would have stood. So, good break. Let's uh, let's move back right there and see. The blue one looks a little weaker than the red. A little weaker. I would really like to see if I if I move left here and I hit it a little harder, if it uh, could go through the pins a little better from that spot. Because I thought that last shot was pretty good. Those are some, those are some good bowling balls there. Uh, I'm a big fan of how they're going through the pins. When I, uh, when I'm changing balls, you got to have a lot of confidence in what it does before you do it. Um, change your balls on tour, you don't have enough time to really guess. So a lot of confidence in the ball makes a huge difference. And right now, I'm gonna be honest with you, I have a lot of confidence in this red one. That's pretty good. That is pretty good. How am I supposed to make a choice? Like how, how does it? It's, that was a little in a target. Still got there, got the nine out late. I'm gonna throw this blue one in that same spot. Cause I really think this one's gonna be a little weaker there. I don't know if this gets to the pocket from there. Oh, it's in. And it strips. Okay. All right. So we're gonna throw this red one one last time because I just like throwing this red one at the moment. A lot of confidence in it. Like what I see. As you can see, there's no logos on it, nothing. I literally have no clue what these bowling balls are outside of test ball A or B and A in the color. But kind of matches my shirt today. Maybe that's why. So a good one here. Let's move a little farther left off that nine pin. See if we can get it to come back. I think we got enough information to give them pretty good feedback on uh, what my preference would be. Identical layouts. Both pretty good bowling balls, as you can see. They're both going through the pins pretty good. Hard choice. You know, I would say if I had to choose one, I, I would have to go with test ball B, the red one. Goes through the pins a little better, a little cleaner through the fronts. It's a little earlier and smoother. I think, it, I think they would both play a big part of my bag, but they're making me choose one. So if I have to choose one, my choice would definitely be test ball B. If you, if you have time, please feel free in the description below, leave some comments. Uh, we look at them, we, we take them into consideration. We'd really like to see what you see out of them and what you would choose, because you guys play a huge part in how we do. Thanks for joining in today. I hope you learned something and can't wait to see you next time. Hi Ebonai fans, Andrew Anderson here in Sterling Heights, Michigan at Bowling IQ, my second home. This is my place of practice, work. This is where I am every time I'm home before I hit the road. I'm in here practicing all the time. This is where I am working, drilling balls for all, all my very loyal customers. And today, I have something very cool happening. Ebonai sent me a couple test balls. If you remember the verdict last year, Pro Shop operators got the opportunity to throw the verdict and give some feedback to Ebonite International and let them know what ball they would choose and next thing you know the verdict came out. 
Vertic was a very, very good ball in my tournament bag when I'm traveling to PBA events, especially on the higher volume stuff. And we have today